Well, hello everyone in the Wayfarer Vans fans Facebook group. I made it to Paulden, Arizona today to meet with Ken at Blue Sky Kitchens to talk about chuck boxes. We had to get it with a stand or without a stand. So first we'll take the stand off and then I will show you how the box itself works. This is the mini grub, by the way. And essentially, you have these keys that come out, and I usually just throw them back in the door when I'm ready to put it back together. I you know, know where they are. Uh, and of course, all your various contents, which could be like these, this stuff over here, and all stored in here, silverware, et cetera. Spice rack on one end, personal effects on the other. And it does work really well with a table that you buy at Costco or Sam's or wherever. But you can also get it with the pan. And in effect, you just have this nice self contained little unit that. Uh, you can take any way you want, and uh, works great. Stove up on top. And both the front and the back uh, slide in with the dowels, right? So you can open it up from both sides. Yes, you can open it up from both sides. These doors just, they just fit in, really. But, I, you know, hinging type stuff is not good in the chuck box world because of vibration. Uh, things will just come loose. And the way I know that is I used to hinge stuff and I don't do it anymore. But this, the, it's really nice to be able to actually just remove it and hand it to somebody and say, hey, go, go take care of this over there at the picnic table or whatever. And, uh, you know, it's just it's just nice in that way. But then, of course, when you're done with it, stick it back together, put your keys back in, and, and it's ready to go back together. Perfect. And then if you put that top box back on, can you show how the legs will f just fit back into the form factor again, the smaller form factor? Uh, sure. Just put it back together. We'll leave the stove with it this time. Yeah. By the way, if I had a gas bottle, I'd, it, you can actually get two of them with this particular size stove you can get. Uh, you can fit two of them in there with them. And Ken, uh, can you say the dimensions of the box again? I know with the that configuration of the stand, it comes up about 18 inches. Is that correct? Yeah, this stand is just short of that. Yep. Otherwise, the bottom box is around 13.5, I think. 13 and a half yep. is, is what it goes from there to there. And is it 16 deep? It is. 16 deep. And then how, uh, what's the length on the box? 24. 24 inches. Okay. Now, plus or minus a little bit. It's, uh, it does depend because there's end, end plates on these boxes. This is actually 23 and 7 eighths. And the reason I do that is for, it, it makes it a lot more economical to make the boxes. That's what I call a modular dimension. It allows for a saw curve. And therefore you can get more pieces out of the same piece of plywood. But you see how it has an end plate on it? Well, that's a quarter inch end plate. So technically it's a little bit more than 24 inches. It's 20. Three and seven eighths plus what amounts to a half an inch. Right. And what kind of wood do you use and materials? I use um, oak hard ply for the firewood and redwood for what I refer to as the bones material. 
Uh, it's what kind of gives everything its strength, if you will. Uh, and, you know, you notice it finishes pretty well. You can, by the way, you can get this unfinished, which is really the way to go for a lot of people because most people know how to finish things. It saves you quite a bit of money to do it yourself. Uh, but with just a natural stain, that's, that's all that's been done with this. Uh, because redwood and oak are such pretty woods, it looks great. Yeah, right? beautiful. And lightweight. Lightweight. Very lightweight. Well, that's that, of course, is why I do it that way. It is, it, you know, that's why I use those materials. It's very lightweight. This is called the mini grub. And what's the weight of this? Is it 16 or? It, now, now by itself, just the box, right. by itself is about 16 or 17 pounds, I don't know, you know, something like that. Uh, not much. Of course, as you start adding things, you add weight. And I, let me tell you, it goes up really fast. That's why you want the box to be really light to begin with. Yeah. Because uh, the weight, it just does, uh, like that stove right there, adds a whole lot to the weight of this box. Sure. You know, that's, I don't know, five or six pound, eight pound stove. I don't know what it is. Now your bigger boxes, you've got these handles for picking them up, right? Right, and you know, I, theoretically it would be possible to do that, or just take a couple holes to do it. Yeah. I have just, this box is so light, I haven't found that necessary. Yeah. Plus, as you can see, these kind of make good handles for you. Oh yeah, perfect. If you do that. And if you didn't, if you didn't have a stand, you just use it without a, a stand, which by the way, that's the way most people get this box. You still have, you know, these ends to grab it. Yeah. And it really isn't very heavy. Uh, so I don't, you don't really need rope handles, but you could. Uh, you see what I do on these other boxes, like for example, this box here, I drill holes right here. This is a grubby one, that's a standard grubby one. And you can actually put rope handles on this box if you want to. Depending on how much you put in it, and how right. heavy it is. Uh, some people like to carry these with two people. Uh, the scouting community is like that. One kid on one side, one on another. Right. You know. uh, where can people learn more about these? Chuck boxes. Blueskykitchen.com. Blueskykitchen.com. And you've got several iterations. You've got plans for people that want to build some of the simpler ones on their own. But he does a just a fantastic job, and I really appreciate your time. I, hey, I really appreciate you coming, Thomas. And uh, uh, yeah, I try to have everything from plans to kits, unfinished and finished products. Although, all my products are not available as kits, uh, but they're all available in one plans book. That is, uh, you know, it's a twenty-four ninety-five book. And uh, by the way, there are extension shelves you can get for this kind of stuff too, which are also in the book. Perfect, perfect. Hey, thanks a million for your time. Well, I appreciate it. Coming. All right, I take care. It. What a great guy and what a quality product. Ken gave me so many creative ideas for ways I can modify and customize my van. I hope this video was informational and inspirational for you as you continue to create the van of your dreams. Take care and let's get on the road.